Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to another little episode of Real Country with Jeff and Melanie. Uh, don't really have nothing going on right now, but just wanted to talk for a minute. Uh, and of course, when I start, here comes a car down the highway. <laughs> but uh, just thought I'd talk to y'all. Uh, we don't want to get out too much. We enjoy being on the farm and doing things, uh, making our own fun. But, you know, every now and then we have to get out, and, you know, grocery shop, buy supplies. And sometimes you have to stop and get something to eat. So, you know, we're kind of a little slow on the curve on some of the stuff. But uh, every now and then something comes up and makes you wonder. So I just thought I'd take a little moment every now and then when something came up. And like I said, we're... We're kind of maybe a little bit behind the curve. We don't get out a whole lot. But uh, just in case there's somebody else out there like us who doesn't really go to town all the time, constantly in the road, constantly shopping, uh, if we run across something that makes you scratch your head or wonder what's going on, we thought we'd take a minute and just pass it on. Uh, and like I said, not trying to be negative or anything like that. Just putting it out there where maybe you could be aware of it in case you run into it. Uh, so I just thought I'd give you a little helpful hint from time to time uh, from your Uncle Jeffro. When I was a little boy, uh, one of the most popular shows on TV was the old Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, you know, it was a fish out of water story about some country folks living back in the hills that accidentally got rich, struck oil, become millionaires and moved to Beverly Hills. And the whole show's about people trying to make fun of them, them learning new things, uh, occasionally people trying to steal them or cheat, cheat, cheat them out of their money. And uh, it was just kind of amazing. Sometimes that good old country horse sense, uh, they very rarely fooled them. Uh, they just had a more simple, honest, down-to-earth life. So. Uh, because of that, I had one of my favorite aunts, because uh, she was real fun when I was growing up. She nicknamed me Jeffro Bodini, after the character Jethro Bodine on the Beverly Hillbillies. And uh, she was a mess. I enjoyed being around her. Always had a good time. But uh, So this will be another little helpful hint from your Uncle Jeffro. Uh, we just ran across this. A uh, while back, my wife, busy at her job, called a local restaurant and uh, placed an order. And uh, it was to go. So when it come time, she ran to the restaurant, paid with her card, debit card, and got back. And after she ate, she thought, you know, that was a little bit higher than it ought to be. So she got to looking on her receipt. Always double check your receipt. Well, there was some kind of little fee adjustment on the receipt that she didn't notice. So she went back on them and tried to figure out what's going on. What's this fee for? It's not a tax. It's a fee, a charge. And apparently, this is something new for you to be aware of. Uh, if you order something to go, they're now, some of the restaurants, they're tacking on a fee for your styrofoam to-go box and your styrofoam cup that your drink comes in on top of the meal. And apparently nobody's noticed this, nobody's caught on to it yet, but this is driving up your bill another dollar to two dollars for nothing. If you go sit down at the restaurant and you order a meal, I've never heard of them charging you a dollar fee for use of the plate or use of the cup, but needless to say, uh, we won't, she won't be ordering a to-go meal from this restaurant. And we try to stay away from the big chains uh, because used to, when they first come out, when we were kids and teenagers, man, you got good food, good service, price was reasonable. But now, and I hate to say this because I know it's not everywhere, and I'm not putting down anybody that works in this service. Please don't take it that way. But a lot of the times, they're not friendly. 
they don't act like they want to wait on you just long enough to take your order and let you pay them and get out of there or sit down and eat. And the food reminds me of stuff you buy at the big box stores and come home and microwave. So we try to stay away from that. We find better food at the local places. And this particular one was a local uh, Mexican restaurant. We've ate there for years. But that was just a shocker to drive up. You know, food's high enough anyway. But to drive up the price of the meal another buck or two just because she picked it up and left. Well, that happened to her, and she came home and told me about it. And, you know, I hated it, but ain't nothing we can do. It's too late, so you just won't do it again. And then a couple of days ago, I have a favorite barbecue restaurant that I've ate at almost my whole life. Enjoy the food, and uh, my wife put in. Of course, I'm talking. Here comes a plane. I must be crop dusting today. Bear with me, because I can't edit this out. They'll be gone in just a second. Peace and quiet till I turn on the camera. But anyway, uh, stopped by there and my wife told me to go by. And we like to pick up a couple of pounds of barbecue and we come home and make sandwiches and, you know, bag of barbecue potato chips and something to drink, have a good supper and maybe a little lunch the next day. And the price of the barbecue, like everything else everywhere, is going up. So we understood that. Well, I went in there and everything's beautiful. Ordered my two pounds of meat. The lady told me what my total was and I reached for my debit card. Uh, and remember now, everybody wants you to use the debit and credit cards because it's so much easier, it's so much safer, it's so much faster, more convenient. You don't need cash. Uh, well, anyway, she told me the figure and I'm just saying this number, this wasn't actually what it was, but say it's gonna be $10. Okay. So I said, okay. Well, then when it rang up, let's just say it was $12, $13, pushing $14. And it didn't sound right, but I just assumed she told me the total before she punched it into the cash register and got the tax. Well, didn't think too much about it. And I got home. Then I got looking at my receipt. And I'm serious. It had a charge adjustment fee for credit card. And I'm like, dude, what? So the next day I went back and talked to someone I knew and they explained it to me that, yeah, you know, every time you use your card, whether it's credit card or debit card, they tack on, and I'm probably gonna be wrong on what I tell you, 2.9% uh, or 3.9% of your purchase price to offset the fee they pay for the convenience of taking a credit card through the bank system. Because every time they ring up a credit card, a fee is attached to them. So they're passing it on to you. So in other words, if I went in there and bought the meal, it'd be $10 in tax if I'd have paid cash. But because I use the convenient, nice, you know, let's all go to plastic debit card, I had to wind up paying an extra two dollars and so you know and excuse me money's hard to make for everybody food's getting more and more expensive whether you eat out or whether you you know eat at a restaurant uh, and to me that's just throwing money away so nothing against my favorite restaurant and nothing against the food and I don't mind paying the price when it goes up but I'm not just gonna hand them an extra couple of dollars because I didn't have cash in my pocket and you know instead of using the debit card from my bank uh, things you need to watch out that's just throwing money away and I know it's Mickey Mouse money it's not nothing going to hopefully break anybody but you add it up and a lot of people eat out two three four or five times a week and you're throwing away the price of one whole meal just to get a to-go cup and, and, and they mentioned it to me that people get mad they'll come in and buy like a glass of tea to go it ain't but a dollar or two, but they'll wind up paying three or four because they use their debit card with that fee. But, you know, every time you use it, you're just, you might as well take a buck or two and light it on fire. So I will continue eating there. Love my barbecue. Uh, nothing against the people because this isn't the people I deal with. This is ownership and management and all that. But I will never 
use a debit card again at that restaurant. Uh, truthfully, there's times a debit card comes in handy, but uh, cash is so much better. We have actually been to places in the past where, oh, we're ready to check out, and we just had a few, few dollars in cash, but we needed to spend more, and we're going to use our debit card, and their system was down. One place in particular, we actually had, I'd say, 65 to $95 worth of merchandise that we couldn't buy. And we hung around an extra hour in the store. We finally talked them into holding our order, and we left for a few hours and came back, and it was still down. This was on a Saturday. So when they closed, I asked them just hold my stuff because it was in another state. And we had left our home state and went to another state. And... Uh, so by the time I went to my bank and got back, it had been closed. So I said, just hold it till Monday. But cash didn't turn down. But like I said, not trying to be negative, not trying to influence anybody. I ain't trying to put down the local restaurants. But uh, it's just something. Pay attention to your receipts, especially if you're getting older, like we are. Uh, you know, money's hard to come by. Everything's getting more and more expensive. And why cheat yourself? And definitely don't let nobody else cheat you. Uh, we ran into another deal some time back. We ordered a bunch of pizzas, called it in. Uh, I went to this local mom and pop pizza place, used my debit card, and I hadn't noticed this happening on your receipt. It, this was the first time I saw it. They had a place where you can write in a tip. Well, we tip if we go to a sit down restaurant. If I sit down at a restaurant and you bring me my food and I need more drink or, you know, you come by and check on us, make sure we're good, and you serve us, uh, as long as you're not hateful and mean or you don't come back once you throw it down and we choke to death because we can't get nothing to drink, uh, you know, normally we tip. We tip average what most people do. I have no problem doing that. But that little receipt had a place to write in a tip. Well, I'm not going to tip you when I place an order and you hand me the food and I walk out the door. So on the receipt that I had to sign for my debit card purchase, I drew a circle where it says no tip for zero, put a line through it, and then signed my name. They gave me my copy that showed the price I was told it was going to be. We come home about a week later, my wife can't get the checkbook to balance. So we start going back and looking at our receipts and our debits and credits. The pizza place, someone felt the need to add a $10 tip to that order. After the fact, after we're home eating pizza, after I had told them no tip. So I had to go back on them. Well, they wanted to act like something was fishy on my end, but I just presented a copy of the what went to the bank and showed it to them. I had contacted my bank. Uh, well, they basically jerked me around for over a week, week and a half. I had to go back multiple times. That $10 that they tried to steal from me, whether it was, I don't know who done it. I'm assuming it was a little girl that took the order or somebody. I could be wrong, can't say. But I wound up spending another twenty or thirty dollars probably in gas running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Finally got it. When they finally gave it to me, they just handed me the ten dollar bill. They wouldn't look me in the eye. They didn't want to talk to me. They were very hateful to me. Uh and it's like, why? You know, I wound up oh, and during that time period the bank contacted me because someone may have nothing to do with the restaurant. But someone attempted an uh, overseas charge on our account for almost $900. We don't know anybody overseas. We wound up having to cancel our account, get a completely new checking account, different numbers, different cars. So watch your receipts. Look, make sure it's exactly what it ought to be. And my opinion is when in doubt, use the cash. Uh, you hear horror stories all the time, little old ladies, ladies, old gentlemen, they in a hurry, late at night by themselves, they go to the ATM to pull out cash and people try to rob them. Uh, 
look out for yourself. Be careful. Uh, credit card can be a great thing. Debit card can be convenient. Not saying it won't. But I've, I very rarely have I ever even heard of some place that won't take cash. And if they won't, then I don't need to shop there. But like I said, I hope this don't come off as negative. I don't mean it that way. I'm not putting down nobody. I'm just stating facts. Uh, will we go back to that Mexican restaurant? Sure. We just will not order to go anything. Will we go to that barbecue place? Most definitely. But I will not use a debit card. Uh, will we go to the pizza place? No. No, that was flat out someone tried to steal and steal our information. So, no, we won't go to that one. And another little thing, uh, I don't like how a lot of these places want to, you to hand them your credit card, let them walk off, then come back. Uh, if we're in a situation like that, we either pay cash or we walk to the register and watch them do it. That way no one has time, if they wanted to, to make a copy of your information, you know. It's just too dangerous and there's too much fraud out there. And uh, like I said, I... Most people probably like us. You work hard for your money, and you don't want somebody to steal it from you. But other than that, that's just another little helpful hint from your Uncle Jeffro. <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. Don't trust me. I, I wouldn't lie to you, but verify. If you doubt anything I say, look around. See if it's happening where you live. And the main thing, just be aware. Take care of yourself. This world we're living in now is crazy. Uh, people have lost respect, lost morals. It's sad. But there's still good folks out there. You can still have a good time. Uh, but just don't let nobody take advantage of you if you can. When in doubt, ask questions. When in doubt, verify. Uh, if you ain't sure, you know, double check them. Just keep everybody honest. That way, uh, you know, I've been to places where businesses have made a mistake making change. And I'd catch it and give them back the money they overpaid me. Telling them. You know, look, I don't want to cheat you, and I don't want you to cheat me, but you, you made a boo-boo. No big deal. Here's your money back. And, you know, keep everybody straight. That's all we can do, just try to look out for each other. But, folks, if you like the little videos, uh, please hit the like and subscribe. We thank you for listening. Like I said, I didn't mean this as a fuss. Uh, going to try to do this more and more often. There's a lot of things going on that I just assume everybody knows, but then the more I'm out and about, I hear other people, they had no idea either. So just thought we'd share this stuff. Please don't take it as we're fussing, we're ranting, not trying to get into politics, not trying to get into nothing ugly. Uh, it's just an opinion. If you like it, great. If you dislike it, great. I'm not trying to be ugly to anybody. Uh, like at restaurants, I've never worked at a restaurant, but I have worked for tips in my past. And I made doggone good money working for tips and enjoyed it. Uh, but, you know, there again, it wasn't mandatory. When they try to force it on you, that's, that makes me kind of wonder. Uh, I know people at restaurants don't make a whole lot to wait staff. And, you know, I hate that. It's not right. But, uh, you know, as long as they do a good job, hey, tip them. Tip them good if you can. Tip them the best you can. You know, some people can't afford a big tip. It's not they're trying to be ugly to the workers. They just honestly, it's all they can do to pay for the meal. Uh, but, you know, take care of yourself, be aware, and if you learn something, share it with others. Until next time, thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. We'll try to throw a few of these out every now and then, not all the time. But till the next time, the good Lord's willing, the creek don't rise. We'll see you all down the road. Thank you all.